So welcome to the inside of Humpback Mountain. You know, it's just pretty chilly in here. It stays about 52 degrees in here year round. You might see some fish behind me. Those are our trout. We have brown, speckled, and rainbow trout, and they're partially to totally blind due to living the majority of their life in total darkness. And we'll experience total darkness ourselves later on in the tour. Now, the fish are very special to us here at the caverns that led to the discovery of them. In 1822, two fishermen were outside and they saw what looked like fish disappearing into the mountain. So they came to investigate, found a crack where our doorway is now, crawled inside and discovered the caverns. That was in 1822. As we move forward, watch out for this rock right here. Call it headache rock. We have concussion rocks later on, so be, be careful. And if you guys will follow me this way, and please watch your heads. <laughs> Are you seeing my fingers? Yep, yeah, I found one right there. See him. Made it look like the mountain. 
mountain was on fire. So the locals came to investigate, found the soldiers, and they were tried with treason. So that's our deserters' fireplace. As I said, you're in the widest part of the caverns. And if you guys will follow me this way, we're heading into the tallest part of the caverns. And I'll have you guys line up on the right side. And I'll have you guys just scoot up on the right. Now this is our cathedral room. It's the tallest part of the caverns at 23 feet from floor to ceiling. Like how the bat formation was flowstone, it's on the wall. The formations up here on the ceiling, they're stalactites. They hold tight to the ceiling. You'll notice that they're rounded off at the bottom. That's because in 1940, we had a flood come through, and the floodwaters were so high that they broke off those stalactites. And in 2004, those two hurricanes we had back to back, their flood levels got about wall height. That's why some of these walls are here, just for safety. They're holding back dirt and debris. And if you guys will follow me this way, we're going to stop on this little hill. And if you guys in the back want to come on down on your left, if you're going to come on down on your left. Yes. Yes. And I'll have you stop right here. Watch out for that girl. What hit me, Lana? And the family in the back, if you want to line up on the left, Shady Dolomite. Shady Dolomite is the mother rock of the caverns. It makes up the majority of this Appalachian mountain. It's 15% limestone. So as water comes through, it erodes away the soft porous rock to create the passages you're in now and the cracks above us. As the water comes through, it deposits minerals on the limestone, and these minerals build up over time to create formations. Formations like the bat, the stalactites, and the ones we're going to see in the next area. Now we don't have any gold or precious gems here in the cavern, but we do have a semi-precious gem, carnelian. Carnelian gets its orange color from iron oxide. It's all the stuff that's glowing over here. This is carnelian. And as we pass under this semi-precious gym, all my tall friends watch your precious heads. Do you have some more, Georgie? I have some.
the gray lines on the front, that's where it has been touched, and the salts and oils in our skin prevent the water from flowing over and depositing more minerals. That's our largest stalactite in the caverns, but our largest formation in the caverns starts up here and goes all the way down to here. We call this frozen Niagara because it looks like a frozen waterfall. Now geologists say that it takes at least 125 years for one cubic inch of a formation to form. So frozen Niagara is millions of years old. the ceiling one day so they're growing up from the ground where they meet in the middle that's called a pillar or column and you'll see a lot of colors that's from all the minerals so orange is from iron oxide gray is from manganese white is calcium or calcite dark blue zinc light bluish gray, cobalt, and as we said before, green is algae and moss. And if you guys will follow me this way, we have seven steps down, so please be careful. Seven steps down, and we'll make a left.
Now, if you want me to turn the light back on, just raise your hand. <laughs> In three, two, one. And if you guys will follow me this way, And this is Dale from Shepard. Check you later.